ladies and gentlemen, Charles here in Bece, Serbia. First time in my life I came to Bece. I came here to uh, with my buddy in the boy shop. It's this fine gentleman right here. He was kind enough to show me his school. He brought me to his school so I could talk about work and travel to his students. He brought me here to the center of Bece. Bece has about 25, 30,000 people. Beautiful church here, man. Look at those Sveti columns. George. Sveti Kako. George. Sveti George is the name of it. Built in, looks like 1851, but look at those columns. It's huge. Inside, when you step inside, this one has a ton of seating. And I was going to make a video, but the lady pops out and she said no pictures or anything. But uh, it's cold in there too. But check out what they're doing here to Beche. They put, my friend said, a few million euros into this place. But look at this, this is gorgeous. They put a lot of different color stone. Right by that big option of building, looks just like somber kind of to me. But he said there's gonna be like a fountain maybe here or here in one of these places. Well, it's really pretty. I never, I didn't expect this. No offense, but I had no idea what to expect out of Beche. But look at that, it reminds me of my street of Dunavsku, Lita. Different colors, different style. Really pretty place, man. We're gonna check out some different stuff. And I can't wait to see this place when it's finished. Anyway, do Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the school I went to. Look how beautiful this is, man. What they do here in a small little town here in Serbia. My friend, he's a, he teaches there in Neboisha. And I went and spoke to the students. All of them spoke English really, really well. But look at the style of that. Look at all the little decor and stuff they have on that. If you compare that to a, to a school where I'm from, oh my God. Night and day difference. One cool thing about this school too, he said there's roughly maybe two, 300 students in it. And half, they have like 60 some teachers. Half of them teach the students strictly in Hungarian language. The Hungarian students have to have a Serbian class. But isn't that different from the United States? We don't have where students from a different nationality can speak, learn in their own language in a public school. And everybody says Serbians are not good with minorities. Come on, what does that make the United States? This is Petr Kerajorjevic statue. My friend told me a funny story about this statue here. He said some of the uh, Chetniks, I guess, removed the head. They took his head off. So they had to replace his head. So you can see slight difference with all the mold and stuff on the, on the body and the head's a little bit cleaner. So anyway, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Beautiful little walking section here in Beche. Something you'll notice when you come to Beche, you, when you go to the center, there's lots of trees in the center with cafes and stuff. So they've kept a lot of the nature. And this is like a big, huge mosaic. And this is like the emblem of the city of Beche. Looks like you got Jito and some different things in it. I don't know the exact thing on it, but really pretty. They put this right here in the center of this park. You've got a big lake type. What is that, lake or a river? That's a Tisa. Oh, Tisa, da da da, da. you told Tisa, me that the other yeah. day. And out here, Beche, there's lots of sports teams and, and stuff that comes here uh, because they have really up-to-date uh, sport facilities. Indoor pool, outdoor pool, hippodrome. Uh, and this is the Statue of Liberty, baby. We got a Statue of Liberty. It brings me back home right here in the center of this park. They, they brought this clear from the center, this big heavy thing, clear through here, this walking street. Uh, so really peaceful birds out here. Beche kicks ass we are located i just found out here over there is novi beche novi beche is a little stronger economy they say and that is banat region you know here in uh Vojvodina, there's three srim bachkin and banat and that's banat across the tisa river here and we are in bachka here and this really long little section, little walkway, it's got a lot of chairs out here, lights. And this thing we're getting ready to go look at, they say the uh, gentleman who designed the Eiffel Tower, uh, he designed that too here in Beche. Man, so there's some, some important stuff here. There used to be a generator over here. But it's a nice place, you could have a picnic and stuff. He said that there's a, um, like some music festival thing that they have out here, uh, right along the beach. And Bonat's football club, they say, beat Serena Zvezda uh, a while back in their football stadiums over here. But you don't have that many people out here. I'm surprised. Usually you see lots of Serbians walking, but he said they're lazy here in, in, in Beche. We got this young lady over here and uh, her daughter. Anyway, that's it. Don't be <laughs> the, the fishing must be good here. He just got a big fish and smashed it over there on the concrete. And there's another gentleman here fishing. Oh, it's beautiful out here today, though. 
this is this thing here that was designed. It looks like a dam. He was trying to think what it is. There's a sign. We'll go look at it in a minute and see what it is exactly. But it looks like a dam. What I would call a dam, but I'm not that smart with things. It was designed by the gentleman from the Eiffel Tower, baby. So this is the Eiffel Tower of Betje. Lots of Hungarians here. We saw these two old ladies going by speaking in Hungarian language. And he said that even here during World War II, uh, you know, like in Novi Sad they had where the um, Hungarians pushed like citizens under the ice to kill them, you know? They did that here. And I saw on a Nazi hunter, they, that, one, that guy was still alive that was in charge of that in Vienna. Because they mentioned Novi Sad when I was watching, I couldn't believe it. Crazy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a monument. What I was telling you about earlier where the uh, uh, the Nazi occupiers, whatever you want to say, if I say Hungarian, people are going to raise hell, but the ones that <laughs> killed people, okay, just, never mind, let me just show this. This is the monument to that. You can see up here, it says, Zhrtve, that means victims, occupation, fascist war. So the victims of occup uh, occupied fascist war on January 26, 27, 28th, that's when these people were thrown under the ice and killed. And they have this down here. It looks like people haven't put any up-to-date wreaths or anything, but you've got all these names. Probably, you've got some odd names, some, some Hungarian names on there also. If you look, like Balint, I don't know how you say it, but one of my friends has named that. Ferenc, some of those names, but terrible stuff. And that's what I think is so neat in Serbia. Even these small little towns, they put up a lot of these, you know, so you don't forget all these uh, terrible atrocities that, that were committed here. So it's nice they have this out here. Beche, this other monument here. <laughs> it says, when my girlfriend left me, I rented a slut. <laughs> I thought slut was a kurva. Yeah. yeah. Droll you also. <laughs> this isn't part of the tourist tour, the tour of Beche. <laughs> I was telling you about earlier. This is the Beche Lock, it's called. This right here that was designed by the gentleman. First lock in Europe with its own direct electrical power supply in 1896. Eiffel Tower. That's it. The Eiffel Lock. <laughs> it doesn't look... Eh, maybe it looks similar. It's made of metal. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll never guess where I'm at here. I'm up on top of this castle. Isn't this awesome? It's a little bit outside of Beche. And up here, my friend told me something I wanted to mention before I went any further. See that little device there? He said, during the NATO bombing in 1999, somebody, or they bring that out here, and like they turn it, and uh, it makes that really loud air raid siren. Unfortunately, that's something we stumbled upon. But this place has about five or six rooms and two suites. But isn't this going out in the middle of nowhere? Dunjerski is his name. Bogdan Dunjerski. Uh... He is the one that built this many, many years ago. And you can stay in a you can stay in a room here. You've got a little church over there. She said there's a horse stables that this is known for now. But man, isn't this beautiful? I saw this picture one of the first times uh, when I was talking about going to Serbia. I remember seeing a picture of this exact thing, and I always thought it would be cool to come here. And now I'm up here. Beautiful. You got pools out here. If you can hear me, I'm I'm out of breath because it's tough to get up here for a fag. Oh yeah, what did they? When did they drain it? it used to be a pool. But they said during uh, Prvi May, which is Labor Day in Serbia, uh, May first, they had uh, a thousand some people cars out here. But man, this is awesome. Say I came to the top of a castle, man. Lip. This is the stairway. Look at this. Look how narrow this is. If you were a fat person, you couldn't get through here. This goes up to this in, top in, part. In Inside this the castle part here, she took us in here and showed us. And they said one little story. It's kind of a myth, but they said outside they used to... Uh, of, of chaos. <laughs> really? <laughs> May, uh, 5,000 people. 5,000 in here? Believe or not. So what were they do? What were they doing? I mean, just for parties, just yes, for Prvi May yes, celebration. Party, eat uh, barbecue, and to see this, and every one of five thousand cross to <laughs> in front of you. Yes. 
You were so sick of people, I betcha. No. <laughs> so Mr. Dunjerski is buried in this church. Yes. Next door. I saw a picture of him here. Yeah. They're all later. It's yeah. Ah, beautiful place. His picture in natural size. That's him. Mm. It's the lady inside here, she's like Neboisha and Strahinya's uh, Komshanitsa, or neighbor lady. And she was nice enough, she took us around and told us a lot of little stories inside. That's what it looks like, isn't that cool? We was up there, man! Really pretty grounds. We're gonna go into the church and then we're gonna have a... Google Translate. I understand it, but I Zadushbina... Bog chuti, I hate that word. That's a tough one. Vele posednika, kako se kaže? Those are big words. Staro bečeskog i sintomaškog. What? A lot of weird words in the year 1923. Godina. I understand.